This is the Solid Signal Podcast for the week of January 8th, 2018, and this is going to be one of those cranky ones. Fasten your seatbelts, boys and girls, men and women, oldsters and oldsters, because I'm in a mood. That's right. I spent three and a half hours of my life last night watching the Golden Globes. And why did I do this? Because I want, I don't know, because I like torturing myself. And one thing that I tend to avoid is politics. I'm going to avoid politics with this particular podcast as well. And I'm going to talk about something that is perhaps more fundamentally wrong with the Golden Globes and most of these award shows. I have not seen three billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri, and I haven't seen most of the films that won awards, but at least I hope they will all be available to me at some point. I think it is absolutely ridiculous that you have these award shows that are celebrating films that no one is seeing. Okay, I'm going to back up for a second and say that You know, it's not all about mainstream entertainment. It's not like the Oscar should always go to the highest grossing film, and it shouldn't always go to the film that has the lowest common denominator appeal. That's not how art works. Folks, I get that. But, you know, there is also the other side of that. When you talk to art lovers, when you talk to cinema lovers, they talk about experiencing their art in a particular way. If you happen to be a fan of classic music, well, then you're going to want to experience that classic music on vinyl, they tell you. Now, that I don't tend to agree with that either, but that's a subject for another whole podcast. If you're going to experience a great work of art, you should see it in a museum. You should see it in its milieu. Just looking at it in a book is not going to do it for you, folks. That's what the artists want to tell you. And so, when it comes to movies, well, obviously, they don't want you to see it on your phone, and they'd love for you to see it in the theater, except when it comes to these movies, most of them never hit a theater. Most of them will go uh, to half a dozen theaters in major cities and never be seen by Joe and Jane Average, and then they'll go on to win all sorts of awards. And I think that's hypocritical. Why do I think it's hypocritical? Because you've got all these highfalutin artist types who will tell you that there is a good way and a bad way to experience their art. And yet, when it comes to movies, they're only interested in movies that nobody sees. Art in itself exists to influence people, to create feelings. And I would submit that any piece of art that isn't available to the extent that it can create and influence those feelings is not a piece of art at all. If a piece of art falls in the forest and no one is there to hear it, does it make a sound? That's what I'm saying here, folks. The thing is that these movies, they win all sorts of awards, and then, of course, nobody sees them, even when they're available on Netflix or Amazon or what have you. And they're, they're hard to get into. They're hard to understand. They place, in some cases, an almost impossible burden on the watcher to try to truly understand the level of the art. There's such a thing as difficult art to understand, and and I shouldn't think that all art should be so mushy and easy to appreciate that, you know, there's no sense in challenging yourself. As I said, that's one side. The other side is, you know, it has to be accessible to the point that people can actually see it. I finally got around to seeing Moonlight, which, as everybody remembers, was the big film of last year, and I thought it was fairly good. I'm glad that it was available on Prime Video, uh, and I, I think that it probably should have won the award that it did. But three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri with Woody Harrelson, I'm not going to see that. I'm not going to see a lot of these films, and I'm not alone. I think of myself as a fairly highbrow individual, believe it or not, and yet I'm just not going to see these films. and. A lot of times when you have these films that merely celebrate a very small group of people and do not find their way to the masses, it's just a waste. It's not art. It's not anything. 